Hello everyone, I'm here with Noah. Yo. And those of you who don't know Noah, Noah is my new synchro partner who I'm doing synchro with at World Championships. So we did it for the first time at a legacy event, and then we did it at the National Championships. Here's a little clip. We did it, we finished the competition, and I mean, we won. And now Worlds. And now Worlds, yeah. So now we're here at Worlds, so we've been training for that in London, and we thought we would do a little Q&A. So I asked people on Patreon to send me their questions. And I asked people on my OnlyFans to ask me questions. Indeed. So now we've got some, like, Noah's picked five questions from his OnlyFans, and then I'm going to answer some of the questions on here. Um, and yeah, that's basically what we're going to do. And if you want to get involved in that kind of action, you can see the description below, we'll have the links. Well, I'm just going to go for the first one, who was the fastest to get there, and that was Lily, who says, if you were going to the Olympics, would you do synchro together or individual? Well, Noah's probably going to go for both. Hopefully, we'll see. But that will depend on February 8th. February 8th is our qualification day. So we have to come top seven at the World Championships in order to qualify for Paris. Me, only synchro is in the picture, but for Noah, you can do individual, right? That's the plan, we'll see. That's the plan, Stan. Do My turn. Are you right. yours? I've got a double part question. Okay, go on then, go, go, go. So, wait, no, I haven't. How did you know what mm -hmm. size to knit the cock sock you made me? <laughs> I did make Noah a cock sock because it was your birthday, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, somewhere. Budapest. You made you put that in your YouTube video. As I well. did, yeah. So there is a YouTube video from May 2021. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was on the 21st. Where it's his 21st birthday, and we were like, well, we're in the middle of where we're at, Budapest. Yeah. And I was like, what am I going to get him for his birthday? So I was like, you know what? I've got yarn, I've got a crochet hook, and I'm going to make a cock sock. And I basically just. I go by the, you know, one size fits most yeah. rule. And then the other parts of that question were, well, are you surprised that I've actually worn it a few times? No, I'm not. I think you actually posted a photo on your OnlyFans of you and your cock yeah. So And I sent you one as well. Yeah, and I've got it. Yeah. So, I mean, it's nice that they're used because most of the time people use it as like a little novelty thing that never actually gets used. So, yeah, at least it's used. Next one. What do you feel I've taught you as a diver? And what do I feel you've taught me as a diver? What would you say about that? I don't think I've taught you anything. I yeah, you have. No, it's, no, you've taught me quite a lot. You know, you're like obviously way more experienced than me. You've been doing this way longer than me. 23 years. Yeah, that's crazy. Really, as long as you've been born. I'm 23. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you've been doing this my whole life. So like, you know, you've taught me like different ways to approach competitions, different like strategies uh, towards that. And obviously you give me advice on certain dives, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm not you. I can't do dives. Yeah. the way you do them, so I have to just kind of figure that out for myself. Not but, true. <laughs> but no, yeah, I, th I think more strategies going into competition you've taught me. Mm. I think you've taught me to kind of just be like, a little bit more like, not nonchalant, but like, like we're just going to do it. Yeah. It's like, just go do it. Like, what's in the matter, does it? Whatever happens, happens. Whatever happens, happens. So I think that's right. good going into competition. Right, you'll go. My turn. If you had to spend a night spooning a diver, Oh gosh. Who would it be? It doesn't say British, so any diver, who would you like to spoon for the night? Spoon. It doesn't say it doesn't say big or small spoon, so. I'm spooning a diver? Yeah. There's only someone who came to your head where you don't want to say No, now I, you're trying to think of someone. I don't. I was like, well the only one that I could actually spoon would be Noah because I was sharing oh, a room. Oh that's cute. You can spoon me. So I used to well, you know, I think Daddy you used to spoon <laughs> Matty. <laughs> No, but I used to share a room with Matty when I was in singer with Matty, so it would have been Matty before, but now it's obviously you because you're sh I'm sharing with you. Yeah. There we go. Okay, this is an interesting one. Susanna says, what was Noah's reaction when you informed him you were coming back to diving after your break? And also, what challenges does it have if, with training in LA? You gonna go LA first or my answer first? You go first. I actually, like not even, I'm not even saying this because I said my question for any fans. Genuinely, I didn't know you were coming back until somebody messaged me on OnlyFans being like, what's your what's your opinions on Tom coming back? And I literally replied to them, like, is he coming back? Oh no. And then they were like, yeah. And I was like, oh, I didn't know. I was like, how does it pe everyone know apart from me? And then my sister called me and was like, oh, have you seen Tom posted he's coming back? I was like, I've not, but I've been told. I didn't really have any reaction. I liked Tom, so I knew you from last. But initially though, it probably was a little bit, I mean, it made it complicated in the whole synchro situation. 
and yeah. it's still kind of complicated. But I think because I like you, you're gonna be around, so I'd like that. But also, even if I wasn't in synchro, I still have individual. Yeah. And so it's not like suddenly I'm out of the diving team. Mm. So it was good, good reaction. I just I was like one of the last people to know. I felt like. Well, it's because you t went off Instagram for a while. Yeah, I still don't really go on Instagram. Well, there you go. That'll be why. You'll go. Oh, the yeah, LA you. game. You oh, LA game. LA. Yeah, I mean, it poses difficulties in the way that I have to come back to London to train with Noah um, more often. So Lance is taking the reins in LA quite a lot more, which wasn't necessarily part of the plan. That's the big thing, is that we are able to concentrate on individual stuff a little bit more, although it gets very cold in LA at this time of year. So that's been a bit of a challenge, to be honest. What is your type? And am I your type? Oh God, what is my type? To be honest, my my type is, and it's funny because Lance will always say that it's very well. I, I, when I explain it to you, you'll get my demographic. I like broad shoulders. That's just something that. <laughs> I like a swimmer's physique because that was what drew me to Lance in the first place was the fact that he was like so wide at the top and then narrow. I don't know if there's something that, and I also like distinctive features. Lance won't mind me saying this about him, but he was always a little bit paranoid about his nose. Whereas for me, I quite like the features of like either like a bigger nose or like bigger ear, like something that makes someone look distinctive. So distinctive features and broad shoulders. I've got broken nose. Oh, there you go. We're in. <laughs> oh, funny. I know a couple of people have asked this. Catherine says, best of luck in Doha. I qualify, qualify for the Games. The question is, when will the decision be made about who will dive at the Olympics? And how will it work, basically? Because currently there's three of us. There's me, Noah, and Matty. Matty was currently, well, was injured in the end of last year and is still coming back from that. So we just dived at Nationals. And because we dived at Nationals, we're gonna dive at Worlds. I think it depends how we do at Worlds and then what happens with the World Cups moving forward from there in the competitions building into the Olympics. But essentially it's not in our hands. Yeah, it's one of the, it just depends how everything goes. Like, I mean, obviously like, if we won Worlds, they're gonna be like, wow, they're really good, <laughs> stay together. But if we get the spot, but it doesn't go so well, they might switch it up and that's fine, you know? Yeah. That's sport, we'll see what happens. And I think it's just a matter of like, who's going, the two best divers at the time building, going into the Olympics. And we all do synchro with everyone. So we're just a big old synchro three-way basically. Yeah, hot stuff. Yeah, that's how it goes. Have you seen my OnlyFans page and what is your favorite picture? <laughs> I haven't seen your OnlyFans page. Mm -hmm. And the only picture I know that's on there is the Willy Warmer one. Do you like that photo? This great photo. <laughs> that's all good. Great then. photo. <laughs> I just haven't seen any others. So yeah, I wouldn't know. Maybe I'll have to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll show you for free. Okay, good. Assume you go, which I know you will. That's very confident of you. I don't know yet, yet but we'll see. What are you looking forward to at the Paris Olympics that you didn't get the experience due to the COVID restrictions of Tokyo? Well, the big one is having a crowd because in Tokyo, it was so dead. When Noah and I were competing in individual, there was literally no one there because everyone had already gone home. So I think having that kind of atmosphere will be amazing for like that big like pump when you go into a competition. Other than that, it was pretty similar. But although the, the nice thing about it was that there was no distractions. You didn't have FOMO at any point because Sometimes when you finish competing, and or you haven't finished competing, others have, they get to go out and have parties and play, play and have fun. Whereas there was none of that. So you didn't necessarily feel like you were missing out. I don't know about you. Yeah, I mean, obviously the only, you've done a few Olympics though. The only one I've done is Tokyo. So I don't know anything else. Mm. Uh, I haven't experienced it. And Tokyo, yeah, it was fun. Like the village is cool. Mm. But yeah, the competing with no crowd was so, so bad. I mean, I did awful at the comp. I couldn't, didn't have any adrenaline. So mm. hopefully, crowd will help that out. My last question All gone. is, will you make me a knitted pair of briefs? I can do. Do you, I can make some pair of, I can make a knitted pair of briefs. You, I made, made, you made like knitted speeders before, surely it's the same. Yeah, I can do that. I can make you some knitted trunks and you know, whack them on. Why not? They really? don't take that long to make. Do they not? No, so I can get that one. Easy, yeah. easy. I'll make a thong. <laughs> yeah, do that. <laughs> I'll just put some. I'll just tie some yarn around, and it'll. Just I actually like would like thong. Thongs are quite comfy sometimes. I've not cut say I've worn a thong. Really? No. Apart from the front, it like doesn't fit too well. The, the back's comfy. Oh, okay. okay, this is a good one. Noiron says, "What effects can changing a synchro partner have?" Generally, me, Noah, and Matty all have similar techniques, ish. So it's a matter of kind of like just. It takes a little bit of minor adjustments, but other than that, it's pretty like straightforward, no? 
I mean, I'd say mine and yours take these completely different. Well, it is very different. <laughs> yours is so nice. But it somehow time. lands in time. Oh, yours is nice. It's just that we're different. Oh, yeah. Mine's very, like, efficient. By the book. I don't necessarily spin any faster than I need to, finish any higher than I need to. It's just accurate, I guess. Noah is very fast, dynamic, speedy, and is able to come out and get in, bend his back in positions that I don't even know how yeah, to Yeah, my back is weak. Bend your back. We'll see. It's a bit like a banana. Yeah. Anyway, those are a few of the questions that we had. So, thank you for watching. If you want to get involved in the questions next time, subscribe to his OnlyFans and then... Or your Patreon. Or my Patreon. Perfect. Um, but yeah, for now, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.